Hi, Cappy. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Capricorn placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your donations, and booking your personal readings with me. I'm sending you guys a lot of love and lights and happiness on your journey. Anything you need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms okay let's tap in happy let's see what's going on spirit guides angels ancestors ascended masters gods and goddesses please return any spell work any dark magic that is sent to harm happy and their loved ones me and my loved ones return it back to the sender block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through clear concise and precise messages for Cappy and protect me as I channel the messages here. I'm trying to figure out what other decks I want to use, <laughs> but we'll see at the end. Let's see. What are the messages here for Cappy Spirit? Let's get the tea. Okay, so somebody's talking shit. Of course they are. They always are. Let's see. What else? <laughs> this could be somebody that you grew up with here this could be somebody from your childhood somebody you was with for a long time um somebody could be talking shit about your crush or about the fact that you even have a crush like we have anger management yeah. somebody could be mad about something Okay. Scarcity tactics and dodging bullets here in reverse. Blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected from haters. That came out with scarcity tactics. The bottom of the deck is pregnancy test. Unsure, pregnancy scared, positive or negative. Incarcerated, love triangle. Mm. So, um happy i feel like somebody is just really just they're, they're upset about their life like somebody could have a crush on you and maybe they're mad that they're not you're not easily moved by this person's antics like maybe somebody's trying to like piss you off on purpose to get your attention or to get a reaction out of you and it's not working We're dodging bullets in reverse. I feel like this person is catching strays. Okay, I just heard this person could be catching strays. Somebody could be catching strays because they're not protected. Like, something can be blocked. We're blocking negativity in reverse. Some of y'all need to cleanse your energy. Because somebody could be trying to play on your, your mind. And, you know, just fuck up your energy. Okay. Use this deck. Let's just see how it feels as I'm pulling. What's talking shit here? The Hierophant Taurus. What's talking shit with the Hierophant? You have a strength card, Leo. Leo again. So you could have strong Leo in your chart. You could be dealing with a Leo. Taurus, possibly. So, um... There's some sort of like lesson here that you've passed, um, Cappy. I feel like you've you've learned some sort of lesson. I'm in a test that you passed. I mean, <laughs> not a lesson that you passed, but um, 737 on the clock, you could be seeing those synchronicities. I feel like you're standing strong in your beliefs right now. Like you've overcame a lot of challenges here, especially recently, just from 
y'all spreads okay y'all y'all readings y'all have definitely came out victorious in a lot of things um as far as your healing journey goes and where you're headed um it's like you're getting there to regardless so whoever's mad or trying to scare you or whatever this is it's just not going to work is what it's giving um there could be a strong like partnership coming in or some sort of contract here is being fulfilled okay something about your morals your values your belief systems your integrity um you could be a wise counsel a wise leader as well very wise very strong spiritually i feel like so Somebody, I don't know what their problem is. What's this hierophant? Nine of Cups, Pisces, Jupiter. What's the hierophant with the Nine of Cups? The Fool, yeah, I feel like you're headed towards a new beginning. Aquarius energy. You're off to a new beginning, I feel like. Um... There's like wish fulfillment here with the contract. I feel like you're fulfilling something. It's either something that God wants you to do. Well, yeah, everything that you're doing is what spirit wants you to do is what it feels like to me. Mm -hmm. But you're definitely going into like a, a wish fulfillment, something here that you wish for, you're getting. I feel like you um, learn some sort of lesson here about doing things in moderation and balancing your life out, like your work and your personal life. Because the Nine of Cups... It talks about um, really pampering yourself here, being selfish with your energy, not really being selfish with your energy as far as like not giving your energy to the wrong people. But the fool talks about adventure and having fun. So I feel like maybe you could have took some sort of leap of faith and excuse me. You just been doing you. I feel like you've been having fun though. There's something that you've been doing or something that you changed up. That's what spirit wanted you to do. Spirit wants you to have fun. Spirit wants you to have a good time. They don't want you to be isolated. Okay. Or or feeling like you're restricted or bound to anything. So, but some of you guys could actually have like status as well with the nine of cups and the hierophant. You could be a leader, a spiritual guru, a teacher. Okay. So, I don't know what the fuck somebody's issue is, but. What's this strength card? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. I feel like somebody was trying to like throw something your way. <laughs> That's what I just heard. Somebody was trying to do something and it didn't work. Somebody could be overeating or somebody could be like really depressed or sad right now. Someone could have a sad Saturn. But the Ten of Wands is like, yeah, it's definitely like releasing, walking away from a situation. Um, something here that was stressing you out or burdening you. I feel like you've overcame whatever challenge this was. You released it. Maybe you were taking on too much. Something was just causing anxiety, too much stress or... You guys could have overcame some anxiety issues that you have. Somebody could have social anxiety here is what I just heard. So you could have been afraid of doing something new. I feel like it 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 shifted the energy once you kind of like made a shift or a change. What's the strength card with the Ten of Wands? Somebody, someone could be saying 101. Yeah, the temperance, exactly. Sagittarius energy, doing things in moderation. Okay, healing from maybe some sort of heartbreak, pain, or a breakup here. I feel like you've overcame some sort of less uh, challenge. Yeah, four of wands, the sun, the queen of cups. So yeah, this is like... um. 
doing things in moderation, like I said, balance. I feel like you're very well protected too as you move forward. Somebody just seem like they're talking shit just cause. Like somebody just is childish. They don't even say why. I feel like it's because you're strong. You're you're very confident. You you have inner confidence. <clears throat> you have real strength. It's not no made up thing with you. It's not a facade. Like. You're very protected. I don't know what somebody's issue is. What what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what what's the problem? It's not saying why they talking shit yet. Just to, people just stupid. What's crush? Six of Swords. What's crush here with the Six of Swords? Aquarius, Mercury, and the Page of Cups. So yeah. Um, your crush could live at a distance here. You could be getting ready to take like a trip. Okay, there could be like a vacation coming up for you. This could be like a a date or something. Your, the person that you have a crush on could be at a distance from you. They could actually live at a distance. You and this person could have past lives here. Uh, Y'all have known each other for a while or it just feels like it. So yeah, past lives possibly. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person here really makes you feel... I don't know, like childlike, but in a very, like you guys are both, I feel like you guys are both very mature, but y'all have fun around each other. Y'all could be yourselves around each other. Okay, I feel like somebody's like falling in love with you or you could be in love with somebody, Cappy. I don't know. But, um... <clears throat> There could definitely be a romantic gesture here, a romantic date. Somebody could be an artist, very creative. They could somebody could do do like music or they could paint. Okay. Somebody could smell really good too, or they dress really, really nice as well. Okay, Gabby. <laughs> um, so I see a mini vacation, but I feel like you're moving forward. Some of you guys have a crush here that you've been, yeah, Ace of Cups. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. You have a crush on somebody that you're moving away from just because of the simple fact like the, you've idolized the relationship. Like the relationship could not be going nowhere. If that's for some of you. That's not for everybody. Because the Page of Cups could talk about like naivety, somebody here being gullible, um, very timid or shy or whatever. But let's see. What's Six of Swords? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, there's something new coming in. And I feel like it's with a, a romantic offer or a date or something like that. This could be something that's going to grow into something really solid. Somebody here could be moving or traveling or your person could be... If y'all are at a distance, they could be trying to find a home near you, near where you're at or vice versa. But the Ace of Pentacles to me, when it comes down to a relationship, it talks about loyalty, commitment, dedication, hard work. Okay, so I feel like this is where your new beginning is. Some of y'all could definitely be moving for a job as well. You could meet somebody that you're going to have a crush on at your place of work, your place of business. Okay. Could be another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This new crush here could possibly make you like want to move away from somebody else's ass. <laughs> yeah, it's because Nine of Wands. <clears throat> Two of Cups, Ace of Swords. Wow. So I feel like things are moving into peaceful and common waters. Let's see. What's the what's the page of cups? Ten of Pentacles, King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got Virgo, Mercury here. I honestly, it feels like there's like two masculines here or it could be feminines, whatever. But there, there could be like two people here. One of these people could be very aloof, very cold. Something is like, <clears throat> it's made up. It's not, it's a fantasy. It's an illusion, okay? Somebody here could be married as well. So you could have somebody that you had some sort of crush on, but you could be moving away from them and going to a new, a new person or just... You know, just in new energy, just period. Just trying to move away from this person. 
but I'm also getting to some of y'all, if that's not the case, you could be going into a new situation that is highly protected. Okay, some of y'all are definitely going into a Ten of Pentacles relationship. Like something is going to be very much so prosperous. Somebody here could be actually getting married. <laughs> okay, somebody could be proposing to you maybe in the future. It's coming up for y'all or um, you guys could be saying 1010 10 as well. Or for some of you guys, if you're already deep into a connection and it's going well, I mean, y'all got years in, some of y'all could be getting married. But the Ten of Pentacles definitely talks about like inheritance, <clears throat> being prosperous, very wealthy, having a great and successful like business as well. But this is marriage, family. So let's see. Let me see. Who this? What's, what's this King of Swords? Who this? Six of Cups. You guys could be saying 666. Six, six. Who just King of Swords with the Six of Cups? The Death card. Scorpio here strong. There's some sort of inner child healing that you've done as well. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like I feel called to say too that your children are very protected as well. Going into this new cycle, whatever this is, but something here is over. There could be something that ended with your with the past person, okay, for you. But I feel like you're going through this major like death and this rebirth. And as you're going through this, something something is just very well protected. Yeah, it's like. I feel like you've definitely raised your standards. Like something about you just got real serious, okay? Like you're not you're not playing with nobody that's going to be in your way or try to like ruin something that you got going on here. You could be ending something with somebody that's just childish. Like you want something more committed. Somebody is just too childish. Let me see. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Okay, yeah, Six of Pentacles. Taurus Moon. So I feel like though, you know, Cappy, there's going to be an equal give and take partnership. And somebody else is getting rejected is what it feels like to me. Something that's just an illusion. Okay, like something else is just getting rejected, just period. Um, But I feel like there's like a gift coming from like the universe, coming from spirit. Somebody here could be opening up some sort of organization for kids or something. For the homeless, possibly. There could be like a lot of gifts and things coming to you. I mean, it is the holidays, you know. Um, There could be a child, too, in the ethers that's being protected. There could be like two kids. Some of y'all are meant to have. Okay. Archangel Michael is really protecting you and um, whatever you're getting ready to start building. Okay, it's something that's coming in for you that's really positive. There's some sort of like good news here. Definitely a date or something too, or a romantic gesture or somebody doing something nice for you. This could definitely be somebody from a past life. Where there's like a strong bond or a strong connection or something. I feel like Archangel Michael is not letting nobody get in the way of it. So whoever's upset, or that they're just going to be upset. Why is this? Hold on, guys. This charger is not working. Oh, there it is. Okay, I had to make sure the charger was working because I didn't want that shit to go off. Turn off. Let me see if it's still working. Okay, yeah. All right, so yeah, something feels positive. It just feels like you're going through a transition here, Cappy. Like, 
you know, I feel like somebody got genuine intentions for you. And Archangel Michael is protecting this connection. Just period. So let's see. What's anger management? And it still feels like you're like ending something from the past because somebody's like too. You could be going with something new because somebody here wants to cater to their family. Somebody here could already be married. They already got somebody else. And so you're ending things with this person and you're moving on towards new. What's the anger management? Okay, yeah. Anger management, what? Because you got a date? That's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Knight of Cups. What's the anger management with the Knight of Cups? Or you're just, yeah, the sun. Leo energy again because you're happy. You're satisfied. You're content. You're successful or you're coming out victorious in something. Okay, the sun and the Knight of Cups. There's like a lot of good news coming. Okay, some of y'all are just single. You're dating. Okay, but there could be somebody that, like specific that you really, really like. All right. <clears throat> There's some good times coming up. Definitely maybe some sort of social event or gathering. Okay. I feel like you could also be meeting people of the same like soul tribe. Like people that are into the same things that you are. Happy, especially when it comes down to your spiritual side. But, <clears throat> like, you're happy as fuck. What's the Knight of Cups? <laughs> Somebody is mad, and I feel like their energy is not coming out that well because they're a non factor. What's the Knight of Cups? <clears throat> yeah, Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> Capricorn Mars here. What's the Knight of Cups, Three of Pentacles? Two of Cups in reverse, Knight of Swords in reverse. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I mean, there could be like people in the background working to um cause you breakups and separations and things like that with your relationships. Like <clears throat> Knight of Swords in reverse is somebody that's a follower, somebody that's really cowardly, and they definitely don't have no good leadership qualities. This person could be very dangerous as well, like a bully, a tyrant, okay? So this could be somebody that you broke up with, somebody from your past that you broke up with, or this could be just simply somebody, there's like maybe a group of people that's like working hard to attack your love life. For some of you, this is the person that you're dating. This is somebody on their end that's upset because they suddenly departed and just realized that they're incompatible <laughs> with someone. Or this is you realizing that you're incompatible with somebody. Some of y'all are leaving some sort of abusive connection. Two of Cups in reverse with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Something about somebody is like abusive. Mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever. Could be a Gemini here. Somebody could have a Cancer Venus. <laughs> but nonetheless, I feel like you just, you probably just up and decided, you know, like this is not working. You and, you and somebody could definitely be like in separation or just not seeing eye to eye. And um, you've done the inner work here. You've done the hard work to put yourself back together <clears throat> and get your, you know, put yourself back out there. And y'all possibly met somebody. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles is you learning from your past mistakes and you moving forward. But somebody could definitely be like trying to attack this relationship. And that's why I feel like it's protected. It's not going nowhere. Because it's genuine, it's real, it's not like your other relationships. What's the sun? Yeah, Seven of Cups. What's the sun with the Seven of Cups? Six of Wands. I just heard a whole new world of possibilities and opportunities have opened up for you, I feel like. Um, <clears throat> Leo, Jupiter, Scorpio, Venus. <clears throat> Something could be being revealed to you through your dream state as well. So if you're paying attention to your dreams, definitely write them down. Um, somebody here could have gotten exposed or got caught doing something. <clears throat> Mm-mm. 
<clears throat> the seven of cups is definitely like some sort of like illusion somebody is trying to let me see what's the seven of cups <clears throat> i'm sick of people all right the high priestess with the king of cups this is like um when these two come all together like this this king of cups you could be dealing with a scorpio um, or a Pisces, or you can have that in your chart, Cappy. But I feel like um, this King of Cups with the High Priestess, there's a spirit guide here protecting you. This King of Cups is my spirit guide card. The High Priestess, obviously, I feel like is you. Yeah, there, there's like hella protection here that you have. Like something is just highly protected, just period. Somebody's mad because they couldn't do something. I feel like you're just... You're just moving forward. You're just moving on. I don't even know what else to say about that. Like, I don't have time to spend on you bitches today. Today is not the day. I got a busy week. I got shit to do. <laughs> Y'all hoes. Whatever this is, it just, you just need to fucking tuck it away and do something else with it. I feel like you could be confusing like your enemies right now. Like people are very confused. You could be keeping something very secretive or quiet or something that's just highly like protected. Yeah, the high priestess with the hierophant. <clears throat> Got the queen of cups and the moon here I'm looking at. King of Pentacles, Two of Swords. You know, I, like I said, it feels like there's like two people here. One of them is an illusion though. The one that I feel like you're walking away from could have been somebody that you've met that really helped you put your life and certain things into perspective. Like they taught you a lot about yourself and things like that. Now you're, I feel like you're moving forward into something more stable and secure because something is just like dreamy. It's not, it's not real. Or I'm not going to say the feelings that you y'all have for each other is not real, but something is off about the connection. Like it's, it's, you're idolizing it. Okay. Somebody could be being really secretive about their feelings. King of Cups with the, the high priestess. It's like something is off about somebody. And there could be like people working in the background. I don't know if it's coming from your end or theirs, but... Yeah, Ten of Swords, exactly. Some sort of like magic or something. With scarcity tactics with dodging bullets in reverse. The star in reverse, Aquarius. Yeah. With scarcity tactics with dodging bullets in reverse. The Emperor and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, like something is going back on somebody, I feel like, because somebody's trying to get in your mind about someone or something and it's not working. Seven of Wands, somebody's in despair because it is. Maybe they normally can like get in your head about certain things, but they can't hear. Let's see, who does Emperor right here? Who does Emperor? Could be dealing with an Aries. Somebody could have a Leo Mars. Who does Emperor? Oh, uh, okay. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Who does Emperor right here? Somebody's like in despair. Two of Pentacles and the Devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. So I feel like you took your power back from someone. Or this emperor here, this emperor could be somebody coming into your life that's protecting you from somebody that's like codependent. It's their energy. I feel like it's somebody trying to send attacks your way and you took your power back in this situation and you're moving forward. Okay, you could have a real like divine masculine or whatever in your energy that's, their energy, their auric field is so pure and the relationship with y'all is so pure that it's not the, um... Whatever somebody is trying to do, it's not it's not gonna it's gonna bounce off of them and, and this connection on back onto whoever is is throwing like attacks. I feel like somebody here get bored and do shit like that. The star in reverse talks about somebody that's hopeless, they're bored, they're in despair. This is like somebody that's lacking inspiration. Okay. Somebody is not healing or they're not healed from something. They lost out on something. 
Somebody could be trying to get you to be pessimistic or lose faith in the situation. But the Two of Pentacles is something here I feel like balance, balancing out. Or somebody is trying to maintain balance. They're trying to keep up with something. Yeah, Eight of Wands and the Empress, exactly. And the Hermit and the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Excuse me. I feel like this is like energy being sent to you, Cappy. It's like some sort of energy being sent out. You guys could be saying nine, nine, nine. What's the seven of wands? Two of swords. Yeah, something is stuck. Is that a stalemate? Libra moon. I feel like you're really standing your ground because something could definitely be trying to cause you anxiety or worry or like you're stuck or like you don't know what decision to make. You do though. You guys would be saying two, two, two. I feel like you do know what decision to make and you've made it. Somebody's just trying to confuse you. What's the star in reverse? Right, the five of wands. There's fighting and shit going on, arguing. This could be, for some of you, this could actually be a man here. This could be your baby daddy, baby mama, whoever. It could be any damn body. But I feel like, uh, yeah, somebody sitting up here trying to work on your love life here. Ten of swords, the ace of cups, and the queen of wands. Somebody here is mad as hell <laughs> that they cannot, they can't fuck you over. That's what it sounds like to me. And it's just, oh well, bitch. <laughs> oh well. Let me see. I'm trying to think. What do I want to pull for you guys? help you so let's pull an angel card let's see so that's what's going on, Kathy. I mean, nothing really important. Just balance your energy out, cleanse, smudge really well, okay? Take your spiritual baths, stay positive, okay? Somebody's, like, projecting. They're, they're like, competing, and they lost, clearly. But the five of wands clarifying the star in reverse. They lost out on whatever the fuck this is. So we have Guru Ramdas, humility, spiritual practice, and elevation. God is Isis, resurrection, magic, and fertility. I'm gonna read Isis. Let's read Isis. It says, Goddess Isis is considered to be one of the most important and powerful goddesses of ancient Egypt. A goddess of fertility and feminine power, goddess Isis is also known as the goddess of the moon, life, magic, and power. She is also known as a healing goddess who can heal the sick and as a protector of women and children. I told you something about your, your kids are protected here. Okay, there's, a, there, there's like a baby trying to come through, I feel like, honestly. I really feel like that. According to Osiris myth, to the Osiris myth, goddess Isis was so powerful she was able to resurrect her husband Osiris after he was killed. Goddess Isis is also known as the goddess of queenship and is often seen with a symbol of a throne above her head. Yes, that's you. Some of y'all have an Egyptian background here. That's what I'm saying. This king of cups right here with this high priestess, this is you. That's definitely you. That is very much so protected, like I said. This king of cups is a spirit guide. 
you can see right through this illusion. It's been exposed. You can see right through it. I feel like you caught somebody in the spirit. Or your spirit guide caught their ass. I don't know. I don't know. But you can see right through whatever the fuck is going on. Yeah, I feel like somebody's kind of like enraged. <laughs> but it says the oracle. It says stand in your power, go for what you want and make it happen. Sit on the throne of your own life. So we have love and relationships. Do whatever you can to help and support those you love. You can and will change lives by how much you love others. For your work, it says being a queen is not about titles. It's about energy. Move through your working day as the queen that you are. Stand strong, be loyal and just. Delegate and practice saying no when you can. For your home life, it says be the queen of your own domain. Consider some ways you can make your home feel like your own sacred temple and palace. For your money, it says spend your money on the things that make you feel prosperous and abundant. Remember, not all queens need to sit on golden thrones. For your well-being, create healthy, loving boundaries with the people in your life. When you protect yourself, you are better able to assist and support others in a way that works for you. And for your spirituality, it says explore and study different magical paths and practices. Then find your own unique way to weave your magic in positive ways in your life and in the world around you. Yeah, some of you guys could like do magic or you could be um studying. Okay, yeah, that brought me to this deck. Okay, thank you, Spirit. That's the deck I want to see use. <laughs> some of you guys could be um into herbalism or like you could be like make magical potions or something like that. Okay, let's move all this shit over here because I'm gunning for this this deck. Then I'm going to go because I can't be on here long today, even though I said that and this is long. <laughs> 36 minutes is kind of long. But um, magic and fertility. Mm. Yeah, somebody... There's a lot of womb magic and shit like that that somebody was doing. It's going around in the collective. Yeah, Lady God is feminine to a divine feminine. Yeah, and look, a star or behind it, incubation. Something about a baby. I'm telling you, something about a baby here. Something is definitely getting ready to be like birthed, incubation. Like something is, is baking. <laughs> okay, something is baking before it comes to life. Like... Yeah, herb, scrying mirror, herbal kitchen. I mean, scrying mirror, shadow, herbal kitchen, alchemist. Warning. I feel like you're a really, really, really um great leader with Guru Ramdas here. Humility, spiritual practice, elevation. So definitely, um, you're uh your abilities and whatever you do like that spiritual could be elevating like you are um amp your gifts are amplifying some of y'all actually do magic or that that's your calling and you do it with humility like you're not um an evil person you don't do magic to harm others cumin so faithfulness bottom of the deck familiar guardian let me see So it said, loyalty is true devotion. Deception births a lower emotion. Have faith, true heart, and trust my seeds. Dependable, they'll meet your needs. This magic is work with harm to none. So mote it be. There it is done. So it says, cumin's guidance. It says, a seed of doubt has entered your mind and you've been questioning someone's loyalty. As you look for signs of unfaithfulness, you too are reminded of a pledge you've made. Promises of fidelity and secret pacts rise to the surface. Yes, yeah, something is, is, is real. Okay, something is really real between you and somebody. I feel like somebody's mad because you found somebody real that's not going to hurt you. That's that's why they're mad. They've been sending like attacks and all this shit to your relationships. And this one is not going nowhere. It's not going anywhere. It's not. Um, It says... Promises of fidelity and secret pacts rise to the surface and your attention is drawn to a long-standing relationship. Fears of infidelity have risen and violation of a contract causes emotional upheaval. Do not despair, for I am loyal. My power guards against theft of any kind, including of your heart. Sprinkle me on any dish for an earthly flavor that will keep you grounded as I protect you from deceit. 
put my seeds in bread and feed me to a lover to keep love faithful and ensure that obligations are fulfilled. Loyalty and devotion are essential, my faithful friend, as you are reminded to be true to yourself and your magical beliefs. So for your recommended recipe, it says for a healing paste, which is for boils and psoriasis, it says grind roasted cumin seeds into a powder. Now mix one half a teaspoon of cumin. Is it cumin or cumin? It's definitely not cumin, it's cumin. <laughs> okay, that didn't even sound right. <laughs> With one to two tablespoons of castor oil to make a paste. Apply directly onto the boil after cleaning the area with a warm compress of water and salt. Cover with a gauze bandage and replace every 12 hours until the boil is gone. So it says cumin revealed. This spice has been used for thousands of years in ancient Egypt. Cumin was used as a spice and as a preservative for mummification. The ancient Greeks had cumin on the table to spice up their food. Pliny the Elder listed cumin as the best appetizer of all condiments and wrote that it could be used as money. <laughs> some of you guys know who your spirit guide is or you some of y'all definitely work close with like um anubis okay you work you work close with anubis here i love this thing i love my anubis like statue <laughs> i love this really bad okay some of y'all some of y'all have worked with with the egypt here and they talk about mummification that's what anubis was known for and Isis, goddess Isis was close to um, Anubis too. Well, I'm thinking about somebody else though. What's her name? Matt. Yeah, I'm thinking about Matt. That's what I was thinking about. The justice card. We got justice right here. Two of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the world. Knight of Cups again. I haven't even touched this deck. Knight of Cups, Six of Swords, the Temperance, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, Five of Wands, the Tower. Yeah, as you move forward, somebody's just mad, bro. They're just mad because this magic ain't hitting your ass or this person. Something is real. There's somebody here that really loves you. Just period. So. This was your reading. Why my thing look like that? This is your reading, um, copy. I hope this resonated for you. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.